All right, also tonight, today is five weeks since CWA union workers went on strike at Mercy Hospital. And tonight, they are not on the picket lines anymore. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Two on your side, Jeff Preval is looking into the details of that tentative deal to end the strike and how it's affecting the rest of the region. And from statements from both the CWA and Catholic Health, it appears the CWA got what it wanted on increased staffing. Catholic Health says the tentative deal would add 250 new positions, plus pay increases and bonus pay for CWA workers, and a tentative deal on health care plans. CWA says the increased staffing ratios under the agreement would need to be in place by January 1st, 2023. There's relief um, across the community, so um, it's been a challenge for everybody, for the community, for our patients. For weeks, Kalina Health says it's seen direct impacts from the strike, higher patient volume in emergency rooms at multiple Kalina hospitals, 50 more inpatient admissions per day at Buffalo General, plus an additional four to six infant deliveries per day at Oshai Children's Hospital and more ambulance backups. But our staff have gone above and beyond the call of duty, uh, again, knowing that we're in the midst of COVID um, with staffing challenges and a work stoppage across town, uh, the staff have stepped up. They've taken on extra shifts. They've worked longer. They worked harder. Kaleida says it's given out bonuses to those workers and is now partnering with a new staffing agency to begin easing the strain on frontline workers over the course of the next week. As for Catholic Health, it says Mercy Hospital has a plan to resume services that were suspended during the strike, but it hasn't shared specifics. CWA says members will meet tomorrow and start voting on the new contract through Monday. Now, the CWA says that the earliest we'll know whether the contract has been approved is Monday night. The union says it won't have any more public statements until after the contract is ratified and there were no new statements from Catholic Health today. In the newsroom, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.